What is going on everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Road to 300 series Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. <gasps> now, in the previous uh, update video, um, I went about explaining like where we were and everything right in the development of the Ginyu Force. They're still coming along, you know, it definitely, it takes a while for to get them done, especially if I'm trying to get everything else done. But I got a couple, uh, quite a few things done in the past couple of days. For sure, despite the fact that I didn't really have a lot of time to grind through some real-world problems. Don't worry about that. But, so, this is just a very quick update video. Nothing too, too crazy. And then we're going to do summons at the very end. So, if you guys want to skip to the last, I don't know, five minutes, give or take. Uh, if you just want to see the summons and what we pull, go ahead and skip to the end. Now, with that being said, let's jump into what we have left. So, the first thing... We did get, um, we did get the rewards for the campaign, and the campaign has ended. The this uh, co-op campaign, we came in. If I can, there we go. We came in first with 116 done. Not really much of like crazy competition. Um, I didn't farm as much like Namek stuff. I was doing like Dokkan stuff and EZAs and stuff like that. So I didn't put a lot of time in. A lot of this is from like Birder and Ginyu and um, what's it called? Uh, and Goldo. It's definitely these. I'm almost done with Birder. Um, hopefully here very soon, right? Um, outside of that, um, I've been working on a couple of EZAs just to see if I can slowly complete them because we do in our roster. We do have quite a bit of units that could easy A and stuff like that. And there's a lot of units here that I have to awaken. So there's definitely a lot of work for me to do to get this box slowly ready. Um, actually, in the previous episode, I have not... We did the Pronga summon. The Pronga Dragon Ball summon, right? Um, summon. Well, it, where you are summoning Pronga. But we got a lot of training items and locations and money. And I just, dude, I just went on a awakening spree and just getting these characters to UR100 and awakening them so I can have a bigger roster of units so I can work on more units and have, you know, can make more teams and plan ahead a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely working out for me in that sense. So I got a lot of them done. I still missing quite a bit of them um, to get to their um, UR state. So... We have plenty of units here. It's just a matter of slowly awakening them and throwing the, um, you know, and throwing the UR on them for sure. Um, I UR'd all the really important units, the units that, you know, are actually really, really good. A lot of these units that I didn't awaken are secondary units that don't have a crazy ass awakening. Um, you know, for the most part, in comparison, I am missing a couple, but, you know, I was only really given a limited amount of Elder... Elder Kai medals and you know Supreme um, and Supreme Kai medals, so you know I had to pick and choose which ones are the most important ones. But I, I got a lot of these guys, you know, to L, uh, to level 80, that will allow me to later on just fully awaken them, right? Um, get them to their UR state. But we did get a lot of URs. We definitely have a big, big box. We have about a hundred URs. This is obviously more. Um, I think one or one or two of these is, oh yeah, like Gildo. Guldo is one. This other Vegeta doesn't count, but you know what I mean? It's it's definitely well over 90 different uh, URs for sure. So the other thing that I wanted to get to is this right here. So with the amount of money that we made, I easy aid all the free to play, all the free to play uh, Majin Buu characters. So for example, let me just show them off here in this team. So I fully awakened Oob, I fully awakened Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I fully awakened this great Saiyan man Gohan, I fully awakened the Hercule and Buu, and the Sobovich and Yami, Yamu card, whatever. Um, the only thing that's left is to farm up a second copy for just Sobovich and Yami and Gohan. Yeah, that's it. I think I don't need like, a, like two medals or something for Oob's one. He's already done. And that's pretty much after that, these guys are done. They're rainbowed. They have, I think, well, I still need to put equips on them, but I don't want to put any of my, my equips right now. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but the free-to-play Majin Buu Saga team is done. All these units are actually not that bad. Um, outside of that, 
I'm just going to use this team for right now. I did awaken STR Cooler because we managed to get him. I SA-10 STR Cooler. We managed to get a dupe, so he's done. So I'm going to be using him a lot. Um, this Angel Golden Frieza or this Angel Final Form uh, Frieza that transforms into Angel Golden Frieza. He's done. I just need to SA-10 him, and I also have a copy in him, so I have to fill that out to 69%. And then fill out his additional and crit stuff, right? I'm going to build him with like a mix of both additionals and crit. You know, it's kind of make him a balanced character. Um, there are characters in the game that you want to go one over the other. and de Like depending on what you want. A lot of the characters benefit more from just additionals rather than crit. For sure. Because of their passive and their super attack abilities and such. You know what I'm saying? So, um... So that's good. Um, I also did Frieza, but I think I mentioned this guy before. You know, I'm currently working on his EZA. You'll be seeing a video as moment I get that 25 stage and then finish him up. It's not too difficult. It's just, you know, not even really time consuming. I've just been working on a lot of other things, trying to awaken characters, level stuff up, and like get ready for part two, which should come at the end of the, of the end of the summon countdown. Like around that time, like towards it ending is when part two is going to come and it's going to be amazing, right? So, um, going to be slowly working on trailers. I have a lot of other characters I have to work on, right? So, I'm not too worried there, but I'm very happy that we got Cooler done because he's very, very, very good and he's going to come in handy. Um, actually, let me just accept these um, missions real quick. Let me look in the Baba shop. See, there's 7,000, but dude. Yeah, might as well. This is all I use my Baba points for. It just I just buy everything. Because we have so many. I even buy the items and everything. Because you just... You never know, right? You never know when you want to do some crazy, crazy stuff. So, outside of everything that I just mentioned, I haven't done anything else. Outside of like doing my dailies and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. Uh, is that all I wanted to talk about? No, oh, I'm currently working on the hero extermination event. And I'm trying to get a bunch of the medals. Sorry. I'm trying to get a bunch of the medals. Because we do have a lot of units. That awaken from the medals. And I'm like kind of planning ahead. Because we are going to get a bunch of units. That awaken from those medals as well. So we need a lot of them. Uh, for a lot of units in the future, like the Friend Summon Gohan, uh, the Friend Summon uh, Great Saiyan 1 and 2 from the um, Friend Summon, um, and a bunch of other units that EZA from the very specific EZA. You know what I'm saying? So there's definitely a lot there for us for sure, and I'm slowly, slowly getting those done. Um, it takes a while because there's no boosts for them. Uh, I think they increase the rates very slightly, I think. I don't actually remember. The drop rates have always been dog water. You know what I'm saying? Like really bad. So I'm, you know, everybody has their opinion. Everybody has their experience with extreme uh, extermination event. Hopefully it gets revamped. You know, that would be pretty fr freaking cool. You don't got to add stages. They just like, if you use extreme, like just get boosted. You know what I mean? Like, I think that would, that would make it less, less of a pain in the ass. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, with that being said, I don't think I have anything else to say outside of out of uh, when I'm done doing these uh, this first this next rotation. I'm going. We're just gonna jump into the summons. We're gonna summon for Frieza. Out once I'm done with this rotation here, I am going to save up 100 stones to buy the where is it to buy the Elder Kai banner because I have to finish up leveling up a couple units and then start leveling up other units as well you know what i'm saying um goku's not gonna be one of them i'm not gonna finish up his sa20 i'm gonna slowly get him done with uh sleeping or dozing kais or any int uh grand kais that we get you know for sure i'm gonna slowly get them done but this uh the elder kais i'm gonna use for like a lot of characters just to get them to sa6 or finish up their sa to sa10 because we need them at sa10 so when we get copies we can rainbow them for sure right so there's still we have a lot of units to do and use these elder guys for so let's go right ahead and jump into the multis like i'm not expecting i'm i'm ex i hope i get good stuff from this like str super vegeta would be amazing 
the Frieza, the banner unit Frieza, the third form Frieza would be very good. Like any of these characters for sure. Um, out of the full roster, I think we only have like, we only pulled the Vegeta. No, we, we also pulled the Frieza, the cooler, and the tech free and the tech Frieza. We got, dude, we got two 17s, no way. I already have copies of them. Do we have copies of this one? No, we do not. I think this is a, yeah, this is a key orb. Orb changer. Come on, give us fire. Come on, give us Frieza. Ooh, that is not Frieza. I mean, never say never, right? You, <laughs> like, you would never expect to get anything crazy from, like, a Goten and like Ten Chen Han, you know what I'm saying? But I also feel as though like the luck could be there regardless if okay, we got 16. All right, whatever. <laughs> he's an SSR. He's not he's, he's a very controversial SSR for sure. He's a very controversial card, you know, but he is a card, you know. I don't know how to feel about this, dude. Man, I really hope we get something good, bro. Because <laughs> this rotation is really bad. Okay. As... Wow. I want to do another rotation of the Goku one. But I, I'm probably just going to keep summoning on Frieza. Okay. Ooh. So three or more SSRs. This is a, for sure a three SSRs. So we're going to we're gonna get something good here. Oh, we got the... We got third form Frieza. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, dude, I have to do his event. All right, all right, all right. No, I think I have some medals done. Do I have some medals done? Ooh, we got Chow Man. Dude, when he gets an awakening. Does he have an awakening? I don't think he has an awakening. Ooh, and we got GT Goten. Yes, bro. Got both GT supports. Dude, let's go. But what was, what was I going to say? Uh... Chow Man does not have Awakening. Maybe when he gets an Awakening, he actually won't be the shittiest card in the game, dude. <laughs> but, dude. Oh, dude. Third Form Frieza. Yes, dude. He's absolutely amazing, dude. He's, like, the best friend for Full Power Frieza, for sure. You know, like, is he? does he share all the links? No, but he has a good support. He shares a lot of the good, important links. And he works well in the team in general. You know what I'm saying? That would be pretty cool if we got... Full power Frieza. That'd be pretty awesome. But saving another 150 stones for sure. Okay. Super Saiyan God go to ST. Okay, I thought it was a fake out. That is not a fake out. Is this a fake out? No. Cool Frieza. Interesting. <laughs> oh man, I remember we sold him in the beginning, like a while ago. He's not, he's not good, dude. He's actually not that good. But I mean, you never know. If he gets an awakening, he could be definitely be good. This Goku is kind of a whatever. Eventually, he's gonna get an easy A. He's gonna get a sub easy A, and he's actually not gonna be that bad. So, um, so yeah, no. I do appreciate you guys watching until the end of the episode. It wasn't a bad pull. Like, I'm not going to say that it, it was, it was like, fantastic. Well, it kind of was. It kind of was, for sure. I mean, we pulled everything from the 17, the SR-17 up, we have pulled. You know? And, obviously, this is definitely a gem, for sure. And this Go-10. These are two incredibly powerful banner units. 110%. Um, I don't know if I'm going... Well, I do need to save up 100 stones regardless for the Elder Kai banner. Which is not going to be that hard, man. I have a lot of story events to go through. I'm doing a lot of easy A's. So, this is actually going to be very easy to get these 100 done. And after that, pro maybe I'll save. Maybe I'll save a, a good chunk. And then do, you know, a full rotation on both banners again. Um, for sure. And see what I get. You know, these banners are definitely worth uh, summoning for 110%. So, um, I do appreciate you guys watching until the end of the episode. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on notifications to get notified whenever I post a brand new video 
of the Road to 300 series or any other future projects that I do in the future, man. I have, I have a lot of things planned for sure when certain things come out, right? So, all right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.